we're trying to get more and more people to eat local. We don't want it to be a niche movement. We want this to be food for the masses. I think that growing food is one of the best ways to make a difference, and it feels really right. My name is Emily Woody. I grew up on a hobby farm. I've been interested in agriculture since I was in high school. It felt like a good way for me to, to do something about climate change. Also have a fun job that was outdoors. And I was really passionate about eating food. So all of those things led me to farming. And then I actually went to school to learn more about agriculture. And then I just really knew that I wanted to do this. I became interested in farming once I learned about our industrialized, globalized food system and how it's one of the biggest contributors to global warming and how it's one of the biggest ex exploiters of labor. And I didn't want to be a part of that system anymore, so I got really into wanting to support local food and then that evolved into wanting to grow my own food and now I grow food for the community. We are a regenerative no-till farm. We really emphasize soil health. We're finding out that the healthier the soil is, the more uh, healthy and the more nutritious your plants will be. It is definitely one of the hardest ways because we really don't use any machines. It's all hand labor, but I really like it that way. It's really nice to have human scaled tools. You can do everything, you know, by yourself if you need to. You get to move your body a lot. It just, it feels really good to be practicing that kind of agriculture. The most rewarding part is just knowing how many people are out there eating our food and sharing our food with other people. A lot of food leaves our farm. So we're making, I think, a pretty big difference in how much local food is being eaten here in the Kootenays. And I hope that we feed even more people as we grow and as we collaborate more with other farmers. I feel like we need to move from mass-produced food to food produced by the masses, and the only way to do that is for us to create as many small-scale, community-based, regenerative farms as we can, and that's what we're doing here, and that makes me feel like I'm making a difference. <laughs>